A video on using legacy titles. This is the titling engine built into Premiere. First thing I need to do is to uh, move the playhead over a kind of representative frame so I've got a um, means of eyeballing how the title is going to work with what sits underneath it. So let's just go with that for the moment. Go up to the menu, choose File, New Legacy Title. Yeah. Um, give it a meaningful name. So I've been mucking around with this, so let's call this one Blood 3, like that. And um, this is uh, the, the various elements of this interface have already been uh, explained. But what I want to do, by default, it's uh, already used set up for the type tool. So I'm just going to put in my title, which is going to be There Will Be Blood. Okay. Now, um, it just so happens that the color of the font at the moment is set to uh, a kind of white, not exactly the white of the um, background image, but it does mean that the title isn't visible, only slightly visible for this particular frame. If I scroll forward, I realize that yes, uh, as the thing develops, it actually does become visible, and that's kind of quite nice, so I'm going to go with that. But um, it's kind of a bit of a halfway house at the moment, so I'm going to select all this and just command A and use this dropper tool and click there so that the title um, color matches that of the background. So you can see it's only when that comes on that it becomes visible. All right, I'm now going to scroll forward so I can actually see the entirety of the title because what I want to do is to change the default settings. At the moment, it's Adobe Clean, whatever that is for the font, uh, font size 100, and so on and so forth. So first off, uh, let's change it for a kind of font that's got a bit more meat to it. Impact is one that uh, is a really you know, substantive one. So uh, impact, again. There. Okay, that's more kind of blocky. Uh, I want to make it bigger as well. Let's try something like that. Now, as I've got this selected, I can come down here and center this. And you'll notice that um, I think there's something you can turn it on and off, and it's also available in the Premiere and After Effects interface. You've got these lines here. Um, they show what's called the um, action safe in the word safe. You want uh, where possible to keep titles within this outer one, so they shouldn't be bursting that. Now I could reduce the font size back down again, or um, because I want it to be quite impactful and blocky, I think the kerning, which way do I take it? Let's so click and drag these values. That's way too little. I could animate that, which is sometimes quite a nice effect. So put it there like that, make sure it's centered again. And the next thing I want to do as well, um, to, to make it interesting, is maybe like that. Again, that's the kind of effect that you might want to um, animate, and you can do that. You can't do it in this interface, but you could do that, for instance, in After Effects. But let's make it slightly um, taller than that. Again, just check it's centered there. There will be blood, and probably need to check. I'm not sure we get all of that because it doesn't. So you probably reduce the font a touch here and then set that again. Okay. okay. Uh, I'm going to go with that for now. Other things I might do, I could. Uh, if I was so inclined, change it to one of those. I'd need to resize it, but most of these are um, not necessarily to be recommended. So I've got a title there. I've already called it something. Uh, there's no save functionality on this, so uh, I can just uh, do this, and it's in my bin already. And then I could drop this on a video track above my footage. Let's press it. That's what's got there. Now I want it to run for the entirety because it needs to be visible. And just play that back. There we go. Okay. 
yeah, I think we can get that. Now, alternatively, um, something else I might want to try. Let's, um, there's a variation on this, so I can right click this, choose duplicate, and run blood three copy, so I know where I'm up to. I'm going to call this blood four. And what I was thinking, if you double click on it, I can edit it. At the moment, I've got a transparent background. Let's put the background on. In fact, before we do that, let's use the dropper. Can I use the dropper? Let's, do this. let's put the background on and use the dropper because we know this text is the same color as the background. Now, I can't see the text again. So I'm just going to turn the background off momentarily. Go here, highlight all the text. And what I want to do is change this to a solid green. So I know um, if I use RGB values, I can ensure it's a solid green by taking red down to zero, keeping that 255, which is the upper value, goes that to zero. Now that's as green as it's ever going to be. Turn the background back on. And now what I've got is uh, a background that I've sampled from the text, which I've already made the same color as the background from the clip. And then I've got this in green. It's already kind of positioned from previously, so I know it's gonna more or less kind of uh, work. So close this down. Get rid of blood three. Jump blood four over the top. Not on, but over the top. Stretch it out. Now like that. Now it's a solid background, so that ain't so great. But the reason I made it that green, I could have done it with another color, it's a solid color, but uh, if we go to effects and just T, hello, key, thank you. Uh, just a simple color key should do it, I think. Drop that on the title. Now go up to my effects controls, color key. What I'm going to do is sample that green. And now, mm -hmm -hmm. okay. I will need to refine that or else bump up the color tolerance because I don't want that edging there. Or thin the edge perhaps. There. Uh, we are on quarter resolution so I'm going to muck around with the edge a little bit. Uh, there's probably more an elegant way to do this but maybe like that. Not bad. Now, given that I'm not really using uh, that clip other than to get fancy with the title, in order to ensure I get coverage, I'd probably turn off this for a minute. Um, just increase the scale of the clip so it will spread out a bit more. So by the time we get to the end here, I'll turn that off. Turn this back on. There we go. Full coverage on that there. That's nice. 